Nearly 300 million COVID doses have been administered across the U.S. And as the virus retreats here, it's surging in other parts of the world. Now President Biden wants to help those nations falling behind. Laura Podesta joins us now live with more on this. Laura, can the Biden administration balance the needs of both the U.S. and other struggling countries? Good morning, Emory. Well, the Biden administration is certainly trying. We know that 25 million vaccine doses from here in the U.S. are currently being sent to the U.N. for distribution worldwide. And the Biden administration says by the end of this month, 80 million vaccine doses will be, have been donated. However, at least a quarter of our excess vaccines will remain stateside in reserve for a potential emergency. There are growing concerns the nation's mass immunization efforts have stalled. For all the progress we're making as a country, if you are unvaccinated, you are still at risk of getting seriously ill or dying. The pace of COVID-19 vaccinations has slowed in recent weeks, especially in the southern U.S. I'm just giving it some time. I'm not in a vulnerable group. I think it was just kind of figuring it out, see how everybody was doing with it. Mississippi, Louisiana, and Alabama have the lowest percentages of adults who've received at least one dose. They're far behind the states with the highest vaccination rates, Vermont, Hawaii, and Massachusetts. The CDC is warning of a rise in the number of young people being hospitalized with COVID-19. I strongly encourage parents to get their teens vaccinated as I did mine. Officials are aiming to get at least one shot into the arms of 70% of American adults by the 4th of July. Right now, that number stands at 63%. Many cities and states are using prizes and giveaways as an incentive to get vaccinated. Why are we doing this? It's because we know it works. This is a very, very common sense investment to save lives. The White House says the U.S. is donating 80 million coronavirus vaccine doses to the U.N. for distribution to global hotspots like India. An initial shipment of 25 million doses will be sent immediately, the rest by the end of the month. And that news is critical for countries in Africa, where the World Health Organization says that vaccine shipments have ground to a near halt. South Africa alone has seen a 60 percent increase in coronavirus cases last week. And Marie. So, Laura, I know, you know, the U.S. was really proactive when it came to supporting the development of vaccines. But do we know just how many vaccine doses we actually have here in the U.S.? In short, yes, we know that the U.S. has contracts for hundreds of millions of vaccine doses, more than we could possibly ever use. And donating many of them is a move by the Biden administration to exert global leadership, particularly after so much pressure has come from global health organizations for the U.S. to do more. So back to your story, uh, we saw the people in Alabama say, you know, that they weren't completely opposed to taking the vaccine. They were just kind of taking this wait and see approach. But there is a certain segment of the population that is really dug in. They are not interested in, in being vaccinated at all. Do we know what that percentage is and whether or not they could have an impact on the ability of this country to, to reach herd immunity? We do have uh, an idea. A Kaiser study said that 13% of adults say they will never get vaccinated. That number is, uh, is comforting because it, it's lower than I think many of us would expect, just 13%. However, we should remember a lot of those adults have children. And if they're not getting vaccinated, it's very likely they're not going to have their children be vaccinated either. Yeah, that is a really good point. Laura Podesta in New York, thank you very much.